All right, it's time for some more nip it in the bud. So you got involved with Canaglobe and the mission of Canaglobe is to shift the stigma. So how are you gonna do that? You gotta do that with education. So let's talk about the endocannabinoid system. The endocannabinoid system is a crucial biological system. It's found in all mammals, including humans. It definitely plays like um, a vital role in uh, like maintaining homeostasis, which is the body's internal balance and regulation of various processes, all right? So you need to number one, understand that. Now, the system consists of endocannabinoids, like your body, my body, our body system, it consists of that, which are naturally occurring compounds produced by the body, as well as cannabinoid receptors and enzymes that synthesize and break down these endocannabinoids. Isn't that fun to say, endocannabinoids? Anyway, (laughs) the two main cannabinoid receptors are CB1 and CB2. Now, CB1 receptors are primarily found in the brain, the central nervous system, and other areas like the lungs, the liver, and kidneys. Now, CB2 receptors are more abundant in the immune system and like peripheral organs, okay? So they're both very important. Now, cannabinoids like uh, THC and CBD found in the cannabis plant (laughs) interact with these receptors, mimicking the effects of our body's natural endocannabinoids. Now, THC binds strongly to CB1 receptors, producing the psychoactive effects associated with marijuana, as well as potential therapeutic benefits like pain relief and appetite stimulation. Okay, now what about CBD? We hear about it, what about it? Well, CBD, on the other hand, has a low affinity for CB1 and CB2 receptors, but can indirectly influence the endocannabinoid system in various ways, leading to potential therapeutic effects like reducing inflammation, anxiety, and seizures. Now, let's talk about uh, what uh, THCA. That's the precursor to THC found in raw, unheated cannabis. THCA is a non-psychoactive compound that doesn't bind directly to CB1 or CB2 receptors. However, when applied topically in like pain balms or creams, THCA can provide localized anti-inflammatory and analgesic effects through its um it's like interaction with like other receptors and pathways in the skin and muscle tissues all right now THCA has been shown to inhibit certain enzymes that contribute to like uh, inflammation and pain making it a, it's a it's like an effective topical treatment for conditions like you know arthritis or muscle soreness and like other types of localized pain or uh, inflammation now listen with all that being said just know the endocannabinoid system is a complex network that regulates various bodily functions and cannabinoids like THC, CBD, and THCA interact with this system in different ways, offering potential therapeutic benefits for a wide range of conditions. Now, with all that being said, do your own research, Google it, look it up. All right, nip it in the bud, learn something. (laughs) 
shift the stigma. All right, I got another video for you. So we're going to talk about um, some other stuff. So go watch the other video. Go, 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 go. <laughs>